Well, folks, I thought for sure that this was where I planted my um, eggplants, Chinese eggplants, but no, look how nasty. These are them stupid, uh, um, weeds that grow here. I don't even know what their name are. So I've got to pull all these up and I've got to try not to pull up that, uh, uh, that little bean plant there. Yep, I can't believe that I thought this. I, honest to God, I really did. I thought that, oh, those are, those are either peppers or those are um, eggplants. Well, they ain't either. Neither one of them. And I'm fixing to get totally rained on, which I'm really happy about because all my little planters are dry. So definitely need water in these and since the um, water thing is is uh, the sprinkler system is broken and I can't use it right now I'm glad to have gotten some water but yeah I need to put some more plants in here this is the bucket that um, that tree fell on and I've still got it using it and I'm just using it with a brick underneath it so it won't fall over. But here's another one of those stinking things. I just can't believe this. I was so excited. I thought I had plenty of uh, eggplants. And they're even up here in my peppers and I'm taking them out of the peppers too. So... I just got me another noodle bean. I just absolutely love these noodle beans. Can't wait to have them for dinner, but look at this. This is coming in pretty fast right now. So, and the, the breeze are going pretty, pretty good. And it's lightning, so I'm gonna have to get out of the, out of the garden for now. But I did wanna show you, I have some, I have some blooms on my peppers okay so i was showing the kids today how we were popping those little um um worms well i want you to look at here somebody has laid eggs all over this leaf so i'm gonna have to go through and literally pull off all these leaves that are look at here see there's more of them there pull off these leaves that are uh, got eggs on them and this is the time of year that I don't have problems with bugs I don't understand it why is this going like this oh my goodness gracious This looks like something there. I don't know what that is, but I squished it. Yeah, I used to love to do this with my grandmother, and that's why I was showing the kids. Uh, Lancey Pooh just loved it. That's what I call him, Lancey Pooh. Because. I don't want to drop those. I don't know where these things are coming from. Hmm. And there's some more. I definitely don't want them to hatch. I don't have any any uh, Christmas limas if if they hatch out. I don't understand it. 
Well, guys, I'm going to have to put the phone down and get these off here. All right, y'all. I'm getting me some fruit. I just got done picking this. Uh, this is that Rapaconte squash. But uh, something is going on with my plant. I just don't understand. Um, this whole side here is dying. And this has happened in the last, I'd say, 24 hours. It's really weird. Really, really weird. I don't know if maybe when I was over here pulling things, maybe it's been 48 hours since I've gotten stung because this was fine whenever I got stung. I don't understand it. I don't know if I pulled something down there, upset something. But it's weird, everything on it is drying up and it was so beautiful. The fruit was all over it and beautiful. Doggone it. So, I don't wonder about temperamental plants. Put those in my belt so I can take them in the house. <sighs> I am going to pull up that vine though. It's got some sharp stuff on it. And Teresa was telling me how she liked those mother-in-law tongues or whatever they're called. <laughs> and they came over into my yard from the neighbors. Um, you can see them all growing back there. But I've always dug them up and got rid of them. And of course I got some more bromeliads back there. Um, nothing really grows in that stuff. I don't have a lot of weeds that grow in that stuff, so I kind of leave it alone. But yeah, I got to get this out. I still have got to worry about getting those wasps out of there. Um, I haven't got those out, but look at this. I'm so impressed with this. This is the, uh, um, man, that fell and hit my foot. That was not good. That was kind of painful, got to say. Those squashes are hard, but uh, what I was trying to say is that um, elderberry is way over yonder, and it is way down here. I wanted to get some of those cuttings and cut that off right about there so that this over here I can plant and uh, hopefully it will sprout up. Now inside of this too is, if I can get over there without getting hurt, this right here is the hibiscus that we cut way back. So I don't really want that hibiscus there, but uh, we'll have to go back and cut that down to the ground. So anyways, uh, my tomatoes that I'm trying to root, well, let's just say they ain't doing so great, but the tomatoes that I got from Teresa, let's see, I think there's two or three of them here. Uh, I don't know what that is. But I know that's tomato. And that's that ground cherry thing. And this is tomato. They're doing really well, so I'll be able to plant them uh, out back. And this is part of the work I've been doing. I um, pulled all that down. Something just stung my foot. Uh, I love Florida and it's bugs. But uh, yeah, the strawberries look really great. And uh, 
Like I said, I got rid of all these. I still got to get that pomegranate up there out. I haven't got that down yet. I forgot to ask David when he came. I want to put some more dirt in here. And um, the, the strawberries are really looking really, really good. I'm really happy with them right now. Um, this pepper, I have not, I've only gotten one green pepper off of it. It is a red pepper, um, but uh, for some reason, the bugs keep getting the peppers and they rot on the plant before I can get them picked and turned. So I don't know what to do about that. But uh, yeah, that's crazy. Anyways, I'm really, really up, really, really uh, excited about the strawberries. They're looking so good. And it's kind of misty raining right now. Um, I don't have a problem being out in that. Uh, I got so much work to do. This guava tree is a strawberry guava and it had blooms on it and still no fruit. Go figure. I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand why it's not fruiting. But and all these, um, these are my, uh, what did I plant? I want to say, I think that these were the, um, pawpaw trees. I'm hoping that they come up. And I can't remember what's in that little bucket over there. But I'll have to look back at my stuff. I had to replant this. This is uh, the Barbados cherry that I had in the bucket. Well, I seen a big old, um, what do you call it, a weed coming out of it. So I just yanked it around and pulled it apart and realized, oh my gosh, I just tore up my, my, uh, my Barbados cherry tree that I was wanting to plant. Little teeny um, uh, plant that I stuck in here. This was the uh, oh goodness, comfrey. It is coming back really nicely. I can't remember where I planted the other ones. Oh, that's right, they're out here. Let's go see them. Okay, so I planted, all, pulled all these up. I think I'm going to take them to the chickens and not to the to the uh, rabbits, but yeah, I dug all these up out of here, and um, this is kind of looking droopy. I hope I didn't disturb it too much, but I've got to fix that over there where the thing is separating there, and uh, hopefully fix it. I pulled this totally out of the ground, and I'm hoping it comes back. But if it doesn't, it doesn't. So, um, I do have, this is a, the um, Amarillo that I wanted to keep. So, it is what it is. But looking over here, that comfrey is coming back and it's looking really nicely. Um, I figured it would come back quickly, but it does so much better in the ground than in a pot. I'm telling you guys, everything else is looking pretty good out here. No flowers today, but one's fixing to open right, right there. That one's fixing to open, and I'm looking forward to that. So, yep, it's all looking pretty good down here, and this comfrey plant's looking really good too. I'm happy to see that. So, looky here, it won't be long till I have me some more black sapote. Yep, won't be long with how big they are. I'm really excited to see that. <laughs> Everywhere I turn. I'm so glad I thought to start planting these things whenever I first got here. 
I planted this tree in 1997 when we first got this house. We originally had planted in that spot a um, loquat tree that we had transferred from down in Melbourne that we had we had uh, dug up and it did not survive. But man did this ever take off and grow and you can see um, her hurricane split it one year. Um, I'll show you around the other side where it had split it. Oh my goodness gracious it's warm. I'm sweating to death and it's all about the humidity here. Uh, see right there behind those leaves how black it is that's where it totally broke off and it was split really bad and I cut it and I didn't think you <coughs> excuse me I didn't think it was gonna make it but it did so I forgot to tell David about that stinking nest up there look at how big that nest is and they we're cutting off the top of my tree again to make that one. I don't know. I hate squirrels. You guys know I hate them, so I gotta knock that down before they have babies. Why do I ever have a mess here to clean up? Look at all that weeds. I got my work cut out for me. But that shouldn't go too long. It shouldn't last too long. And look at here. It, they're dragging down my... Um, this is a, uh, um, what's it called, um, moringa tree. Totally dragging it down, weighting it down, so I gotta pull this off. I may lose this one because when I pulled it, it stripped all this off. Yep, that's all what came off of there. But see how it stripped it? I do have some leaves, so it'll come back, but... Uh, I did want to cut this one back like I do the other ones, but now I'm going to have to wait until that comes out and see what happens. So, I guess I'm going to dehydrate these. I wish I'd known if there was more in there, but I don't want to dig through that. That, that stuff makes me itch really bad. So, see my little pocket here? Put everything in my belt there. Oh my goodness gracious, it's hot, hot, hot. And it will not be long until I have more blooms on this beauty. Look how far it's over. I wish I could get that to stand up straight. We have done a lot to try to do that. I guess I'm going to have to say, okay, David, just have at it and stand it up. That little... That little piece of wood there did not do anything for it. So, no four o'clocks blooming. Looks like something's chewing on them too. This is supposed to be the time of year where everything is doing well, but it doesn't look like it's going to be. I've got some new growth on my... Uh, passion vine so I don't know how that's going to survive I don't see anything growing on these they're not flowering right now oh this they are on the other side go figure where I can't see them looky here Mmm, heaven itself. They are so beautiful. I absolutely adore this plant. And I will have it all over the yard if I can if I can get it all over the yard. I got one down here I can take in house and smell. Hmm. I probably shouldn't do that with my allergies. But oh well. This crepe myrtle just keeps on giving. I've tried to cut it down. And it just keeps on giving. 
And this beautiful uh, uh, Jabota Kaba still has not fruited. One day, maybe. But not right now. <laughs>